Hello world, uh, Terhi here. My voice is almost disappeared because of flu, but we will manage. I definitely want to make this uh, process video because I just received my December hip kits and these are so gorgeous and I'm doing my first layout with this kit so I wanted to uh, record, a, uh, record a little video for you. I'm starting this time with the photograph because I'm not sure how to design the layout. I don't have any specific sketch in my mind so I decided to cut the photo first uh, with this lovely uh, pink paper from Great Paper and then I'm planning how to set it. And there it goes. Really a traditional <laughs> setting for me but I'm doing a lot of uh, mixed media on the background so that's why I'm choosing this really easy uh, design for the layout. Uh, first I'm cutting all these lovely scraps for me. As said, this is my first layout with the December kits, so I don't have any scraps. So I'm doing some scraps for me. I really love that dark blue uh, bird and bloom paper. It's, uh, it's gorgeous. I really will use both of my papers. I got two of them, so I will really use them. So, now I'm just building up the layers. I'm thinking about having lots of buttons. Um, as said, this is going to be quite, hmm, not maybe messy, but quite busy layout. So that's why I'm doing lots of patterns to, to the layers too. I promise the next one will be much more calmer because this is so full of everything, the layout. Uh, once I'm happy with the layering, I'm just using a stapler to add it together and then ta-da, that's it. Something to calm down a bit the uh, busy patterns, that little piece of pink paper underneath the photograph is perfect. And now, as I have a good thought of the design, I'm just making a little marks here and there that I'm going to set it here. And just because it's fun, I'll, I'm doing some circles too. And as we have this watercolor and a mist in the color kit from December, um, I'm going to use them on the background. And as I'm using cardstock instead of um, watercolor paper, I'm using clear gesso to make it waterproof. I use the brush this time. Usually I go with palette knife or old bank card, but brush is nice too. It, it makes a nice texture on top of the paper. Um, the pink watercolor this I bought for shimmers uh, is the one from the December kit and this teal green or light blue, maybe light blue, uh, is from, if I remember right, it was in October kit. So it's nice to combine the uh, different month's kits. Uh, these are nice because you just add some water and start coloring. And once you are done, you just put, the, um, put it away and that's it. Kind of easy to use. And these have a little, little bit of something kind of shimmer inside the color, so it's a bit different than Prima's watercolor, for example. Uh, I wasn't quite happy with the super light blue, but as blue and pink are making purple, it doesn't matter, because I want to focus on more of the purple shades. Uh, first I'm going to spread this pink around. I'm painting instead of uh, inst instead of link flicking all the time uh, because I want to make sure that I have the color all over uh, in different shades. I want to have lots of uh, lighter areas and then lots of uh, darker areas and I want to have a little mix of these colors. And as I said, 
I wasn't kind of pleased of how uh, blue or how light blue the blue was. So that's why I'm going with the mist and that a little bit of this here and there so it makes a bit darker of that. And of course another kind of shade and that's that always makes a good background. Um, usually I keep my layouts um, drying, air drying. I don't really use a heat gun for, for the backgrounds because I don't want the color spread all over. But this time I want the colors to spread all over and mix together. So that's why I'm using a heat gun for this background. Uh, once I had it completely dry, I decided that we will have something texture on top. Uh, this is also from December color kit, both the stencil and the paste. It's, um, as you see, it's now uh, white, but it turns completely clear um, with nice shimmering effects. So it's not that visible in the result, but it's a nice little detail next to the colors. You can do this both ways, first the coloring and then the stenciling or otherwise first the stenciling and then the coloring. Uh, if you do it that way the coloring will be much more vibrant and well different looking. But today I decided to go this way and as I'm lazy and having flu <laughs> I decided to show that you don't necessarily have to need any water to clean up your stencils, just use baby wipes and well that's not so green thing to do but sometimes you can do that. Anyway, then once I'm happy with my background and I have my paper layers, it's time to focus on decorating. Um, I grabbed some of the paper ephemera from the kits. There's some from um, Bing Press Studio and from Crate Paper and especially the Wiki Putin paper ephemera. They are gorgeous. So I pick my favorites up and then I'm going to start embellishing. First I'm attaching the paper layers to the background and I'm using this purple thread to the background um, because it kind of uh, highlights the background colors which are gorgeous blue and, and pink and purple so the purple thread will do its trick perfectly and then I'm going to do another layer of thread uh, by adding white thread to kind of calm the layout down because you can see it's really busy and there's lots of going on in, in the spot where everything is, so that's why a little piece of white thread will do the trick perfectly. Um, I was planning to use those quite fat <laughs> or big frames, what you see in the left, uh, but then I thought they would be too, mm, too massive for this page. So I decided to go with just the small embellishments, like this nice little edge. It makes a nice texture. I'm just gluing it down and that's it. Then the nice little butterfly and the title and some small things here and there and that's it. No need to be too, too strict about everything. Um, there was this nice little sticker, Love Out Loud, and I definitely wanted it here, but if I put it straight to the background, it would have been a bit too, bit too something. So I decided to add some 3D foam behind it, and now it's perfect. These little tricks will always do, and I personally love having dimension on the page so that's good. And while talking about dimension, uh, chipboard stickers are always something to add and as my daughter is really really happy in the picture, she loves animals so much, 
that the happiness title will be just good for this. And I'm really happy that the, um, the hat my daughter is wearing um, is the same blue that the mist in the December color kit. So obviously Hipkit Club has been thinking about my daughter. Uh -huh, that's a joke. Uh, anyway, uh, as I added a chipboard sticker on top of the photograph, you can imagine that it's really really thick from there now. So if I'm adding the paper, uh, butterfly next to it, I should make sure that there's enough, enough thick um, 3D foam underneath it. So I didn't use this flat one, which I always use. I picked up one from American Crafts Sticky Thumb line. They are really good 3D forms and easy to use as they are separate dots. But that's it. Once I'm happy with all the stickers, I'm just adding a few drops of uh, mist and I'm choosing my Altenew purple mist and then it's that. It's done. It's good. I'm happy with it. Um, probably I will do something simple, much more simple next time, but uh, this was fun thing to do after the holidays and with the December, December kit, it was gorgeous. So thank you for watching and I hope you are inspired and have a happy week. Thank you for watching and bye!